Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video on Apache Pig. Guys, in this video, I'll be covering three operators, filter, distinct, and for each. So guys, uh, for this little demonstration, uh, I've, I'll be using the data set which you can see in front of you, a very small uh, data set uh, we are having. And this data set is uh, regarding cricket and we have just taken the top five batsmen with the highest batting average in test match. So guys, uh, this is the data we are having and you must be uh, like uh, wondering why we are having some duplicate records available just to show you how the uh, distinct command works, right? So that's the reason we have taken some duplicate records intentionally, right? Let's start with this. Uh, first of all, we have to load the data uh, in the pig, uh, right? Using load statement. Uh, guys, I've already have opened up my grunt shell in local mode. So uh, it means I'll be expecting the file coming from the local file system. So first let's load the data, right? So the relation name will be Q, uh, then uh, we have to make use of load keyword and specify the absolute path of the file. It is available in my home location with the name test test.txt, right? And then we have to make use of using keyword. Uh, using is a part of a syntax and we'll be using the, uh, the default load function, which is pig storage. And we, you can see that uh, the delimiter we are using as comma, right that's why we're using comma then we have to write as as a part of the syntax now specify the schema the first uh, field is player of type care array right because it is a type of in, uh, like kind of a string then we have to specify care array followed by the team again it's of type care array right then we are having match which is of type integer then we are having innings all right of type integer then we have the not outs of type uh, integer followed by runs of type integer then we have a highest score and then i'm using it as highest of type integer then we have average it's of type float as it is a, it contains some decimal uh, then we have a hundred all right it's of type integer and then we have a 50 of type integer all right so this is the complete schema and we all know that every pig latin statement has to end with semicolon right let's see yes now i guess we have uh, got our data let's verify with dump keyword whether it is successfully loaded or not so guys you can see now we got a data uh, exactly in the same shape as of my uh, input file so let's now maximize the screen and let's start with the very first command which is filter the filter operator or filter command is pretty much equivalent of where clause of your SQL. Uh, here guys, we have to just uh, filter some records based upon certain condition. So let's start uh, for this. I'm taking one uh, relation as D. Then we have to use filter keyword, uh, base relation Q, uh, by is a part of syntax. Now we have to specify the condition. Uh, the condition is I want to uh, select all the records uh, whose team is Australia, right? So we know that although uh, we have certain players from Australia. Let's see. So we have to specify condition in single quotes. All right. Let's press enter. Now let's try to dump D and you will see that only the records who is containing the Australia team will be displayed. Let's see. So guys, we got only three records. Okay. Uh, uh, Don Bradman from Australia, Adam Voges from Australia and Steve Smith from Australia has been displayed on console, right? This is called filter, which is equivalent of where. Next is distinct. Distinct distinct is equivalent of distinct of your SQL, right? We have a distinct keyword available in SQL as well for uh, removing the duplicate uh, records. Not removing for displaying purpose, it will be just eliminating all the duplicate records. Same we have in the case of pig. For this, I'm taking another relation E and we need to just simply write distinct followed by the base relation, which is D. All right. Not D, Q because Q is my main relation. All right. That's it. This is the command, right? E equal to distinct space base relation name. Now try to dump it. Try to dump the E. So guys, uh, we have taken intentionally certain records, uh, which is duplicate in nature. I can show you via text file. Now you can see uh, that we got RJ, RG Pollock and GA Hadley coming twice, right? 
uh, it means total we have seven records but in the case of our pig dump we got only five records so this is only possible with the help of distinct keyword now the last operator for today which is for each for each means it is used to uh, like generate certain transformation based upon some column data it means if i want to display certain uh, maybe field okay i want to uh, do some arithmetic or some kind of operations while displaying the data i can do it with the help of for each so for each is operator we use in pig for uh, generating a certain transformation based upon certain column right let's see how we can do it so i'm taking uh, another relation w for each okay i want to display certain uh, certain columns okay not everything it is equivalent of projecting certain columns in, columns in sql like if i want to say like select column 1 column uh, comma column 2 from table 1 right similarly we can do this with the help of for each in the pig for each the base relation then generate it's a part of a syntax generate then what you want to generate i want to generate only the player and team now what will happen when i go with dump with w you will only be uh, seeing only two fields selected at the end of the command okay done so if i go with dump instead of getting whole records i'll be getting only the two fields will be printed here in the screen let's see you can see we got the data only two columns okay the name of the uh, team and name of the player that's it right so guys i hope uh, you must have understood these three operations filter distinct and for each right in case if you find something is not clear please comment on this video thanks for watching guys see you in next video